hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i am going to show you this when i open my inventory and go to crafting resources you can see the uh, current amount of arrows available is showed up uh, showing here and when i craft one it is increasing like this so it starts from zero and go to the amount available so right so that's what i am going to cover today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so let's open our crafting window first in ui it's in the widget inventory first i'm going to add a bar, add a text over here so that i can see the current number of uh, items that i'm going to craft the current number of items that i already have and the type of item that i'm going to craft so yeah let's add a text like this wait Le I'll first I'll change this image to the actual yeah this one this is the one I would have in the runtime and then I can set the text uh, for example I'll type 12 for 21 and I can't see it here so therefore I'll add an outline of 2 right now I can clearly see that and the size uh, I need it to be left aligned mm. yeah I'll set it by the anchor using the anchor to the yeah like this and it should be font size yeah this 50 this should do let's see right so this is the way it looks so when I craft it should increase okay mm. right so here first it should sh show the current number of elements current amount of item that I have in the inventory so I'll change this one to current amount and it should be a variable right so when I open crafting window I should set the text like this get the current amount set text well I think uh, instead of just showing the number it would look more cool if I start it from zero and increment it to the current level so let's do it like this let's add a new event this is not requirement window this is crafting window this is wrong
custom event show current amount by and as an input I need the amount so like this low no I need a while no I need a branch and first I'm going to set the current amount like this I need two inputs integer start value why is it capital okay and another integer input and value right then I'm gonna set text like this first with the start in value and then um, well I don't need to do it here I'll just keep it for now so here I need a variable I'll call it start value now I'll call it temp value because this is temporary and then if this one is smaller than the end value yeah in that case I need this right if this one is smaller than this value then what I have to do is this add a delay like this and then plus plus the temp value and connect it again like this okay mm, well not here I need to connect here right and I should set the temp value like this and compile right now I need to call this function when I open uh, the crafting window like this what's the event name set show current amount right and start value is zero and the end value must be um, I have the inventory
get resource count of the craft type I implemented this method in a previous video just in case you wonder and end value is this and compile well let's see how it works mm. I don't have any arrows yet now I corrected six arrows and wait nothing is happening uh, let's debug and let's see what's going on when I press this alright so yeah actually this is the problem so when I open my inventory I set the time global time scale to zero time dilation to zero so therefore I can't really use this delay node so what can I do about that well at the moment I don't know how to avoid global time scale and use a delay so therefore I'll do a work around here but that's not completely perfect so let me show the place that I set the global time dilation it's here in my hard video in my hard blueprint when I open the inventory I set the time dilation to zero so that is the place right so therefore I'll do something like this instead of making it zero I'll make it 0 0.001 this is not a good idea but at the moment I don't have any other option so here I'll set the delay 0 0.0002 and let's see how it looks let's collect some arrows okay 12 arrows I got right I feel it's too slow let's increase the speed let's try okay now let's see okay I got six arrows now eighteen arrows right that's better and when I craft when I press craft button it should uh, again rise so I'll do it like this when I craft one this is craft one mm -mm, when I craft one I'll again call that uh, show current amount with the start value of I need to show it here I got to do it like this for the start value I can use the temp value and for the end value I can use the get resource count let 
like this again get the inventory and get resource count and the type is craft type okay let's craft some arrows now wait it didn't work why is that let me check all right I haven't connected the end value I need to connect it now it should work yeah it is working okay so all right um, that's all I wanted to do for today and in the upcoming episodes I'll continue to work on inventory and other features and craft maximum items available like that so thanks for watching and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my Patreon club right here link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye